From a chest high knot, split the fabric and put it on like a backpack, making sure the knot is below the shoulder blades. Bring the legs out in front of you and passe one leg. Pressing the ball of the foot into the floor and keeping the knee straight, pirouette around the point on the floor, piking as the leg is in front and arching when it's in back. As you spin around the point, you will roll over to the top of the foot and back to the ball of the foot. Once you've gathered enough momentum, lift the foot off the floor and press the fabric away from you to invert into a straddle back. From a low knot, bring one leg through to the back of the knee, reach the hands high, and lean back to bring the next leg through to the knee. One at a time, place the feet on the knot at the heel and pull in until the hips stack over the ankles, reach high again, and stand up slowly. Reach up high, pike the hips back, and bend one knee to hip height, sliding the outside edge of the foot up the silk and pushing out, then sliding the second foot out. Continue pushing out, not down, to maintain the base and pull up to standing. To come out, slide the feet slowly down the silk to avoid a burn. Sit down and step out. Open the silk and put it on like a backpack with the knot below the shoulder blades. Hold at chest height and pull up as you lean back with legs apart to a straddle. For frog, bring the feet together in front of the fabric with knees pointing out to the sides. For stag, slide one leg over to cover both sides of the fabric and let the other leg extend out behind you. To come out, go back to the frog position, grab the silk between the legs, straddle, pull up, and tilt out. If you liked that video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Comment below on what other videos you would like to see.